great to get out at all times of the year to absorb the Queen Bee and Palarang region. There's so much to do and see. Today I'm going to a small town, or it's a village really, that echoes with the area's modern industrial history. And in this case, it's mining. It's called Captain's Flat, and it's an easy half hour drive from Queen Bee. Well, every small town has its story, and apparently Captain's Flat is named after a bull. A large white bull called Captain, who used to slip away from his bullock team and he would come and graze here on the flats, which is just next to the river here, the beginnings of the Malongolo River. So before you come to the flat, as it's known to the locals, make sure you download the Captain's Flat Pathway to Gold Heritage Brochure. It's really good in that it has a map of the town that you can do a really nice walk. And it's also got suggestions of other things you can do in the local region. So there's a place where you can park your car up here at the, the old mine and then you just come up these stairs and we'll head up to the lookout. So Captain's Flat enjoyed two mining boom periods. The first was in the late 1800s and then the second, the more modern period, was between the 1930s and the early 1960s. These hills were rich in lead, copper, zinc, gold and silver and apparently still are. And if you can believe it, the production of this mine was second only to Broken Hill. Well, during both of the boom periods in mining in Captain's Flat, the town's population swelled into the thousands. There were lots of shops, there were banks, there was a hospital, a high school, there was even a car dealership. Today it's somewhat quieter with the old mine closed now for almost 60 years. However, there's still a small but thriving local community with a proud local school and other facilities. This is a monument to many of the miners who lost their lives. And it's just a stark reminder, I guess, to how tough those days were in Captain's Flat. There are a few amenities available in Captain's Flat, but if you come out this way, it's always worth bringing some supplies. Captain's Flat is really lucky because it has a magnificent dam that is always 100% full. And that's because it's fed by the headwaters of the Malongolo River. And they, of course, eventually feed into Canberra and become Lake Burley Griffin. If you want to head further afield, you can go to Braywood, which is in that direction. You can also go to Breadbow via Gerangle and eventually onto Cooma. But it's worth noting that both those roads are mainly unsealed, but usually in pretty good condition. Captain's Flat, yet another great reason to visit the Queanbeyan Palarang region.